good morning just got my tripod actually it's the afternoon Wilf and I were up quite late last night prattling around in the fields trying to find this aurora <laughs> we didn't see any northern lights last night and didn't even know about it on Friday apparently in our postcode area we might see them at around nine o'clock tonight so we'll go prancing around the fields you see our northern horizon there is thick tall woodland so um we have to go in the field and get up high my daps are a mess I've got a stupid frock on, which was from the charity shop, but I think Tesco or Sainsbury's originally. Hysteria, hysteria. Um, and it's stupid because it doesn't have pockets. I'm gonna put some pockets in. Toby's just mowing out by the chicken coop and we are about to put up the fencing. A bit ridiculous that I'm wearing a dress really, but there we are. I sowed white borage in my garden. It vanished, but it's turned up here in the paddock. How typical is that? What are you doing? I'm just vlogging you. Are you? Yeah. Good work just now, Toby Ballard. Yeah, you owe me something. Careful what you say. <laughs> Some eggs, maybe. I'll make you loads of omelettes. We've just put the fencing around my mm. chicken enclosure. Oh, could you be more noisy? Sorry, sorry, <laughs> I need We've just put the um, fencing around the chicken enclosure, ready for the hens coming on the 1st of June. I've still got some work to do. I still need to just get in there, get the stingers out. Um, disinfectant the coop clean up all the food gubbins all that kind of thing I'm looking forward to doing it actually I'm looking forward to getting hens again um, I am going to be making a vlog all about getting my hens so I didn't really record much of what we were doing I just did a um, time lapse so I'll pop that in now while I'm talking so that you can you can just see us bimbling about like idiots. You look so funny on time lapse, don't you? Just walking here and there and here and there and if I'd known you were doing it on time lapse, we could have done a funny forwards backwards walk. <laughs> yeah, but you don't really see it. You don't really see um like you do see the forwards backwards business but you how long were we out there for yeah, it felt like a long time yeah an hour and a half it's 28 seconds Is it? yeah 28 seconds of footage so doing a special forwards and backwards walk wouldn't really work it would be a moment but a moment we're off to the garden center because the fence is ugly um so i'm gonna get a clematis montana mile a minute clematis to just grow up it i must google to make sure it's not toxic for hens because it might be Good. and i've got a few other climbers that i'm gonna grow up there just to soften it a bit and i need to net all the way around the bottom because at present they can escape underneath <laughs> um it's not the fox proof dog proof run it's just there I mean, it'll be pretty bulletproof, but it's just their sort of daytime exercise enclosure. The igloo is the really bulletproof um, enclosure, so they'll be fine in there. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna grow lots of lovely things, try and soften it up. I'm gonna Google that now, what I can and what I can't put around a chicken. Might put a load of lavenders around there because lavender deters the flies you don't really want flies all around your chickens. <laughs> there was a minute when we thought that <laughs> I was going to have to walk home. <laughs> it's raining. 
thunder <laughs> the smell of the petrichor is amazing so we got a couple of climbers these will grow like bilio for the um chicken coop and i did get a dutzia but it's not it's not the dutzia that i'm lusting after can you hear that thunder again but it is a good one. Oh, i'm getting really wet so i'm going to go in the birds feed when it's not raining. I do enjoy a thunderstorm. I'm sitting here now and I'm trying to come up with a thumbnail picture for yesterday's vlog and I'm just realising whilst I'm thinking what shall I make as the title? I'm not very good at thumbnails or titles. I'm thinking as I'm watching it, goodness me a lot happened yesterday and I didn't film our barbecue. I didn't film our evening with the wood burner on. And I didn't film Wilf and I shooting over the fields at midnight looking for the northern lights. <laughs> he woke up this morning, came down, he went, I loved doing that with you last night, Mum. I'll remember that forever. <laughs> oh, that is just... I hope he does remember it forever. I'll just have to keep reminding him now and again. But yeah, yesterday was jam-packed. Garden graft, prancing poodles, tractor riding, um, demolition mole catching wasn't that funny how the mole looked like it had this sort of mole saddle between its shoulders i'm gonna look that up see what that is see what that is yeah i did google to see what plants chickens aren't, aren't good for chickens and clematis growing up their fence will be absolutely fine be lovely in fact so I'll get that growing up so that it's, so they're kind of shielded so we can't see the the ugliness of the coop. But also I'll plant some so that they get some shade. So yeah, yesterday, that was quite a vlog, wasn't it? I love days like that. Today is definitely much slower pace than yesterday which is no bad thing, but I'm now at the point where I don't know what I've filmed, I don't know, I can't even think what I've done, and I still have a massive list of things that I want to do, but it's five o'clock, the day is not over. I'm thinking that if I get this supper marinating, I've got some lamb chops from my next door neighbour's farm, um, and I'm gonna do, I'm gonna um, marinate it in a crumbly sauce sticky glaze. So I don't really know the ratios. I just heard heard this mentioned on a on a house tour vlog that I was watching on Good Housekeeping a while ago. It's basically soy sauce, so you don't need any salt garlic, cranberry sauce and rosemary and I've got a bit of lemon here so I'll probably fling some lemon in as well because I think that tenderises meat doesn't it and I'm going to blitz it all up and slur it all over the pork chop, lamb chops and then fry them off just to get some colour on them and then put them in the oven to finish off and I'm going to do small crispy little roast potatoes which will definitely please Wilfred. Rosemary from the garden. Um, 
And that'll be our supper tonight with some, I've got some one of beans and things in the uh, freezer. I think I might sort of, they're a bit wet. So I think I'm going to kind of fry them off a bit. Since this has kind of got a little bit of a Asian-y feel with the soy sauce, I think I might put some sesame oil and oil and sesame seeds with it. I'll eat anything, so even if it's not palatable by the kids, I'll still eat it. This is actually tamari, not soy sauce that I get from the zero waste shop. It's very concentrated, which is probably really good for a marinade. I don't know, I don't know what, I don't know if it is, I'm just speculating. All right, I'm just going to leave that to settle because it's all come up on the lid. I'm just going to go and check my garden plan loose scribbled out garden plan and see where I wanted to put my sweet corn because I think I'm going to plant that out now Sweet peas are in there and there. I'm going to go and look for some twigs to sort of pop that up. Sweet corn is in and so are my mashed potato squash because they all go together quite well. So let's hope that they'll be all all right. Yellow courgette is in with the little pots. I water into the pot so I don't get water on the actual courgette and it'll go down to the roots. This is the bit I like about gardening. I like the picking of flowers to bring in, put on the table. Lovely. Hello, Bill. Hi. Well, it's been a very good weekend for getting things done. Last job of the day is to chop the sleeves off of Ted's school shirts because he isn't going to need these shirts for much longer. He's getting too hot. I'm not buying new shirts, so I'm just going to chop the sleeves off, hem them. He's fine with that and be done with it. I don't think Wilf even will need to wear white shirts, so it's, it's absolutely fine. Anyway, these are absolutely mullered, most of them. They've got pen stains on them, ripped pockets. Where's a rip pocket? That rip pocket. I can mend that while I'm at the sewing machine. So that's my job. I've got a short sleeve one here somewhere as a um, guide as to how long. And that fabric, was it yesterday or the day before? I can't remember. But that fabric has, a bit of fluff on there, it's washed up really nicely. So I am definitely going to try this week to, looks like it's a two-way stretch, to sew up another skirt like the one that I made in the week. I didn't tell you all and I should have done because of course you'd want to know because it's a lovely pattern. It is the the meadow skirt by twig and tail it's an indie pattern so the instructions are really good take your time over it um i think that they even have a video tutorial on how to do it on their website so um give it a go it's it's a lovely pattern it doesn't take too much fabric either all you need is a sewing machine some elastic and fabric you don't need to zip poppers any fastening closures or anything so it's, it's wonderful Right, let's get these 
shirt's done. I need to change my thread to white thread. All right, bedtime for me. Well, I'll, I'll turn the lights out in about half an hour, put Poggy down to bed at that point as well. Um, I forgot to show you our supper. It was actually quite an ugly looking supper, but it was very tasty. Mom. Yes. Now I'm gonna get my son a duvet sheet. Okay, try again. Sorted bill out. Time for bed. Good night. See you tomorrow.